So this week I'm meeting up with over 150 physicians to attend the Tony Robbins conference in Dallas, and I thought it would be interesting to give you an inside scoop into the weekend. It's my second Tony Robbins event. Last year I came to the same event, which is called UPW, or Unleash the Power Within, and it sounds a little bit corny, but I went into last year's event with an open mind, and I really found that it was very instrumental in sort of setting me free from a lot of the things that were holding me back, sort of mentally preconceived notions about duty. And also it allowed me to face things that I really wanted to get out of life and gave me a little bit of clarity into how to get there. So I'm looking for more of the same this year. Oh, oh, sorry. All right, so it's been about 12 hours, and it's a marathon event on the first day especially. It's been uh, a lot of standing in line to get in, and then once it did start around noon, it's been a nonstop, basically soul-searching about what motivates you, what makes you tick, what kind of barriers you're facing, and how to get through these things. And there's a lot of psychological techniques that he teaches and physiological strategies. So basically, um, I value it. I've done this once before, but it's an excellent opportunity for me to see where I am in life now and apply all of these strategies to try to make further breakthroughs. So there's a little bit more psychological work later on, and then we get to walk on hot coals. As a physician going into the first event, this was something that I was like, I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to walk over a bed of coals. But I looked at the evidence that was available of whether or not this was going to actually hurt me. and. There's actually very few reports of people actually getting seriously burned. The actual risk of getting seriously hurt by doing this is fairly low, so um, in the heat of the moment I went ahead and did it and it was totally fine. So just wanted to give you an update. It's been a marathon of a first day. All right, see you later. Alright, so Tony Robbins day two, didn't get to bed until after about 3 a.m. and woke up a little late today. And if I could summarize the first day, um, essentially the first day which was led completely by Tony Robbins was a lot about breaking down how you make decisions, what motivates you in life, and critically examining that to see if that's in alignment with sort of your, your long-term goals. Um, just like last year, I really enjoyed it because it let me track my progress from last year's event to this year's event, and I was able to see some areas where I still need to work on. Um, and of course, culminating in this uh, sort of transformative event where physiologically, as a physician, I know that it's not a great idea to walk across burning coals. Literally, right before I walked across, they refreshed the coals by spreading out hot burning coals that were glowing in the the night sky or the moonlight, you know? They literally put a fresh bed of coals for me to walk across, but intellectually I knew that tons of other people were walking across and not having damage, and there's a lot um, about mind over matter in this thing, and I'd done it once before and suffered very, very minimal damage. So everything went fine. I had no damage to my feet when I walked across. I think it was about 10 feet of burning coals, not a ton, but still. I think the symbolism of it was very much triumph of mind over matter. Personally, what I again reinforced in day one of the experience was that a lot of my next phase of life is going to be driven for a need and desire and hope for growth and contribution to try to create value for everyone watching. All right, so day two, uh, it's a much more chill day. Uh, Tony Robbins is back tomorrow, and that's going to be the transformation day where as I recall from last year, you're taking a lot of the basic skills that you sort of came to understand in the first day and you're using it to envision and visualize and figure out how to create the life that you desire. So very much in line with all of the philosophies and things that I've been trying to do with my life over the last few years. All right, talk to you then. 
Okay, so it's day three of Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within. I've been really enjoying the reminder about a lot of the goals that I set out to do last year. Um, but today's transformation day, so I'm also seeing, are those goals still relevant? Am I still trying to go towards the same things? My life has changed a lot in the last year. I moved from LA to Memphis. I quit my full-time surgery job, and now I'm a locum tenens urologist, and I work most of my time in real estate investing, building a syndication company, and managing my own portfolio. So I'm trying to see, are all of those things still serving me? Am I still moving towards my ultimate goals? Am I doing the most good I can do in this world? These are these kind of heady questions just swirling around in my head leading into day three. So I'm about halfway through my life at this point. I'm 41 years old. This is the time to start moving towards those goals. A lot of those goals that consume me for the first half of my life, I've accomplished. I am a surgeon. My family is financially well supported. Um, and now we're moving towards financial freedom. And once you start getting towards financial freedom, you can start having these bigger thoughts about like, what can I do in this world? What is the larger purpose? What can I really accomplish if I set my mind to it? And this is why I'm creating a real estate syndication company to offer more people opportunities to experience the transformative power and growth of real estate investing, which has really changed my life over the last five years. So I'm trying to put it all together in day three. I'm talking a lot. I'm excited. Um, I'm probably going to sit down and jot down a few sort of goals for the day. And I'll see you on the other side. So that's a wrap on day three. Uh, it was another exhausting day. The highlight of this day for me was examining beliefs that kind of govern our day to day and um, in a lot of ways limit our progress. So for me, I examined a lot of beliefs around uh, success, a lot of beliefs around entrepreneurship and through various exercises, you're able to examine those beliefs and basically toss them out and find evidence why they're not true and kind of replace them with more constructive beliefs. And for me, that was the highlight. It was the same as last year where I felt like I made a lot of breakthroughs and was able to just toss away a lot of baggage. And uh, they call this day transformation day, as I might've mentioned before. And I was able to transform a lot of those beliefs into more constructive ones. So again, I found it really helpful. I basically came on back to the Airbnb where I'm staying with a bunch of other physicians. We're going to chat, kind of process, and I head out back to Memphis in the morning. The fourth day is more health-based. Um, as a physician, I wasn't as interested in that part of the conference last year, and the same goes for this year. But days one through three were tremendous. You know, I'm highly considering signing up for more things, and I, I think that's one of the criticisms of the Tony Robbins experience where people tend to get sucked in. And that's why people kind of call it a cult because you go to one event and it's kind of, uh, people find it life-changing and somewhat addictive and then you keep on going to more and these are expensive events. The tickets for this uh, as a VIP cost about $1,000. So the lowest price tickets are less, but uh, it does tend to be an expensive experience. I feel very privileged to be able to go to something like this and I found it a tremendous experience. This is geared for entrepreneurs. I would say 80, 90% of the audience were entrepreneurs. I was with a group of about 150 physicians, but what unified the physicians were that we're mostly real estate investors, um, company founders, and people trying business as opposed to just the traditional physician route. So I think that what differentiates a lot of entrepreneurs um, is a little bit of a different mindset than than most of our peers. And for that purpose, the world of Tony Robbins is very helpful because it gives you license to kind of swim against the current. And also the tools that you get from the experience are really helpful in continuing that grind, which often accompanies entrepreneurship. So that's a wrap. Thanks for coming along with me on this journey. Uh, my name is Dr. Daniel Shin. I'm a urologic surgeon, real estate investor, content creator. If you like what you see, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and uh, follow along for more.